What's going on everyone and welcome to another app review. This is where we do deep dives, overviews, and quick looks into apps, software, mostly free, but sometimes not. Let's get into it. Come, 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 come on. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about something that I have found invaluable ever since I got it originally, and that is Revo. Uh, I download Revo directly through Ninite, which we've talked about before. This allows you to download multiple apps at the same time and not worry about having to pick through all these options and all that stuff on each one. So we're gonna go under utilities, we're gonna hit get your Ninite, and then uh, it's gonna automatically go to the download page. Uh, looks like I also downloaded uh, LibreOffice, which we'll talk about next week. So once that's downloaded, we're gonna click installer, close that. Now for me, Rio is actually already installed, so we're just gonna scroll down here to R, that's P for sure. Once it opens up, it's gonna give you a full list of applications that are installed using a normal Windows slash Microsoft installer. Applications that are installed manually or applications that are downloaded without installing, those are not gonna be listed here, obviously. Uh, it's just gonna be items that are installed through an installer that was signed by Microsoft. Now, with situations like this, I've got two copies of Blender installed. Uh, the potential here exists that if I go through this on installation, and then wipe all the remaining files and folders, that could affect the newest version as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uninstall Bluestacks App Player. This is something that I was actually trying to use to run Android applications on my computer. I found a different way to access those applications uh, through TeamViewer actually, uh, by just running them on my phone and then viewing the phone. So I'm gonna use this so I'm gonna use this to uninstall Bluestacks and then be, be done with it. So what it first does is it creates a system restore point. This can take a while depending on the application. I really haven't found a reason as to why, but sometimes it'll take a few seconds, other, other times it can take up to a minute or two. But once it's done, it'll show you the uninstaller for your program. Now, sometimes this will not show up because you have a corrupted application, you have maybe had a virus, uh, and it, it affected that application, so now the uninstaller is not working. Or there was just an error during installation, and the uninstaller was never installed properly. So, in our case now, this has shown up, so we're going to run the normal uninstaller. It's going to do its thing. Do you want to keep your apps and data? I don't. Delete it all. Sometimes uninstallers will be like, hey, how come? Don't care. Uninstalled. Successfully uninstalled. Okay. Now, the next section here will check for leftover files, registry items, folders, etc. Uh, I've never used the safer moderate. I've always gone with the advanced, never had an issue with that. So it's going to do a full scan of the system. <clears throat> uh, the first thing it will show you is the registry items that it finds. Uh, again, I've always just selected all and deleted. I've never had an issue. Now, if you use this to remove anything that is related to other things on your computer, this could definitely mess up your system. So if you don't 100% trust that this is exactly the software that it's for, uh, especially with registry values, this is a lot like this is a lot of information. I'm deleting a ton, but I'm doing that knowing my track record with this software and that I've never had any issues previously. So again, same thing. This is leftover files and folders. This essentially is if you don't, if you aren't forced to uninstall, if you aren't forced to restart the computer with the uninstaller, this just allows you to clear out any leftover files because most installations will leave little bits and pieces and that's just how they work. Like they don't delete everything. So that's what this does is it kind of wipes all that out and gives you the most space back from removing something. All right, that's it for this one. Just a quick overview of Revo. If you do not have a uninstall solution besides the normal window, Windows uninstaller, definitely check this out. I've got a link down below, so check that out. If you have any questions about Revo, make sure you drop them in the comments. If you have not seen our other app spotlights, check those out. The playlist is up that way. I think it's, yeah, it's going to be that way. And uh, make sure you guys come back next week for another app spotlight. Monday for another tech video. Fridays, of course, we have our gaming footage. And then Thursday, we've got a very special theme Thursday. And the last video, the last preview video of the Midwest Karting series. So check that out. And then we'll, we'll link you guys to the final film. It'll be a fun one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.